Hey everybody, I'm John from Raising Maverick Chasing Life, and I'd welcome back for part two of this solar install overview. Uh, I hope you watched part one, but if you didn't, I'll link to it right here so you can see that before you watch this one. But if you did, enjoy and let us know what you think. Hey guys, so I'm up here on the roof, and as you can see from down there, I've got some panels tilted, and then I've got some other flat panels that go off that way. So why don't you guys come on up and we'll show you what we got. All right guys, so now that you're up here, you can see the panels a little better. You've got, I've got 10 200 watt panels from High Tech Solar. Uh, these are a little different than their normal 200 watt panels. If you look closely, especially at these over here, you can kind of see light coming through them reflected off the roof. Um, what it is is they've done instead of a solid colored backer on these they've got a clear backing so that they can catch reflections of the sun as well and get a little bit more solar production out of them they're not really intended for an rv the way the science works on them is it's seven to ten feet off the ground is about where they get their best additional production they were only about ten dollars more per panel so i thought i'd get them because there's such a limited area for solar production on an rv any little bit help and so i got them and i put them on and even before i uncovered the tops of the panels i was getting production just from the reflections uh, not the full 25 percent additional that they say that you could get but i was getting some all of my panels are capable of being tilted they can tilt either driver or passenger side depending on which way i'm facing if i tilt one way i shade some panels if i tilt the other way i shade the other panels so i don't always tilt them both ways i don't always have full production if i tilted them all they would be good production but unfortunately i just don't have the space Two thousand watts plus that extra supposed 25 percent pretty good these are all screwed to the roof i've got a rubber roof so they're all screwed down um i did have to make some other modifications to get these on here like this i had to change out my sewer vent stacks to make them shorter these two pairs of panels and that very front pair are actually bolted together so they function and move as one it actually has worked out really well it allows me to get them a lot closer together i don't have to worry about the space to get the tilt brackets in so everything is wired with 10 gauge solar wire it's a very soft Solid, very stiff wire with very few strands. They're connected with MC4 connectors. Each string of panels is also protected by a, an inline MC4 fuse. I have three strings of panels on the roof. These four tilted panels are one string of 800 watts. And then the other six panels are split into two strings of three for 600 watts each string. And the, the string of four runs through a single positive negative wire to this junction box. And in the junction box, I increase the wire size to a six gauge wire to go down to the compartment just due to the length of the run i wanted to minimize my loss so those two strings come into this box and i've got just uh, two single battery posts for the positive and negative inside the box where i combine those two strings into a two gauge wire and run for that two gauge down to the 150 100. okay so I, I talked to you guys about how all the wires run into this box and then they go into a two gauge and a six gauge wire and then go down well this box was not factory i had to build this box on my own i bought this enclosure off of amazon it's a plastic weather tight enclosure you'll see i've got some silicone in the screw holes just because i don't want water sitting them in, a, in them and rusting the screws out uh, you'll also see some old connectors on it as i told you earlier this was not my first iteration and to keep these connectors water tight rather than pull them out and replace them with a silicone or something i simply have a short piece of wire sitting in there and that's tightened down around that wire to keep them water tight that's why you see some bare wire that wire is not connected to anything it's just there so i run into this compartment and i I've got a hole drilled down through the roof and this is right above my refrigerator. I have a residential fridge so I didn't have the vent that I could use like some people do. When I did this though, I took I took two products to make sure it stayed weather tight. I took some butyl tape around the whole exterior bottom side of the box, put it down and then I drilled the hole through. And then I also surrounded it with Dicor. The system's been working great. I'm usually full by 11, 12 o'clock on a sunny day. Cloudy days, I still get full. It just takes a little longer. Hey everybody, thanks for watching as I went over this solar install. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel so you know when I put out something new.